Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Okay, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um I was in head to park and I was sitting around getting fresh air and uh, I was listening to videos and the elder I had done from uh, GMS on air uh, put up a, a post which was a video a re-upload of a brother his title is uh, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar Shalom GMS Finland checking in okay and uh, this is prophecy and this brother you know, he just spoke on the scripture, Hebrews uh, 8 and 5, which goes into the new covenant, which um, we're all, you know, as Israelites, starting with the elect, going to come under. All right. So meanwhile, you know, in this troubled time, you know, in the beginning of Jacob's trouble, you know, you can see that this devil's kingdom is falling. He's being exposed across the board. You know, now uh, there's reports. <laughs> And it always comes out. The truth always out. We're, we're in the time of the truth. Okay? We're in the time that the, the lies get rebuked by truth. Okay? So one power is leaving out and another power is coming in. And that power is power of righteousness with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So one kingdom is going out. One ki another kingdom is coming in. There's a transfer of power going on. And right now, as, as Paul said in uh, Thessalonians, he said he would, uh, the Lord will destroy him with the spirit of his mouth and then the brightness of his coming. So right now we're dealing with the, the spirit of the Lord's mouth. And that's starting with the prophets, okay, the apostles, the elders, who are pushing this truth. Okay, not the false prophets, but the true prophets. All right, that's warning you, you know, uh, preparing you, getting you ready for the day of the battle through the Rakakwadash, which is the Lord's Holy Spirit. All right, now this brother, he made mention of... Um, Hebrews uh, 8 and 5 which is the new covenant and I said well not let's do a quick lesson on it you know maybe this be a um, a quick hit all right you know so you know brothers check it out brother from Finland checking in man you know he speaks on the chip you know out in Sweden you know what they doing you know how they changing the, uh, the way you travel you know they want he said they want a chip um, uh, let's see if I can find it a hundred and something, let me see. And as we all know, Sweden is known for the microchipping, aka the mark of the beast. In that country, it has already begun. And by the way, they have introduced a system with the, with the trains, and uh, they are talking about microchipping 130,000 people that you can use your ticket of your train and just give your hand. And uh, the microchip that is inside will pay for the billet for the ticket of the train. So... It he said 130,000, man. This happened in y'all, and uh, yeah, the microchipping is soon, so the mark of the beast is soon. That means also the destruction of this hellhole is soon. We live in a world, we live in an Esau's kingdom where unnecessary wickedness occur every single day. It's unnecessary. Hey, and that's true. You know, what, going, what went down out there in uh, Missouri, all right, it's come to find out that it was a mason, it was a mason run. All right. You know, basically both parties, you know, using the, you know, the, the blackface. All right. Being a victim to purposely start a race war, to purposely start anarchy in that city so that military can be issued. OK, so that they can have a reason to use the military. All right. Because by far, you know, the mainstream media has already controlled damn near the masses of the people here in the States. You know, people are really afraid that the air the air is giving them the virus, you know? So what need if they need the military for? You know, we know they need the military to force vaccines, to force chips, as Trump said, warp speed, you know, coming in August, a forced vaccination period, you know? And, um, you know, but, but they need for other reasons as well. So, you know, brothers, check that out. There's videos out there, man, that, uh, that, that dude faked his death. He was a fake death, he's a mason. Him and the, um, the police officer were actually, uh, they did security together. They knew each other, working at a club, and so on. But, you know, let's get into the scriptures here. Now, I'm going to get right into it. This is Hebrews chapter 8, and I'll uh, start at 5. It says, who serve 
who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of the Most High when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, excuse me, for see, say he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator, the mediator of a better covenant. It says, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Okay. So not saying that the first covenant, you know, is uh, not was needed. Okay. Because without the first, we can't have a second. And that covenant was given to the Israelites. Okay. Which was the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. So let's read that again. By how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he say, Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, when I will make a covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It says, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to, lay, to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. All right, because, you know, the covenant was given to us after we were delivered out of Egypt, all right, by, the, by uh, uh, Moses leading us forth, okay? And in the wilderness, the Lord made that covenant with us. But now is a new covenant. You know, Esau is trying to steal this covenant. He's trying to make this covenant, covenant none and void. All right. He's trying to abolish this covenant that the Heavenly Father promised to us. All right. Because he wants to turn everyone into transhumans. He wants to microchip you, as the brother in Finland was saying. He said 100 and, what is 130,000, you know, people being chipped, you know. That's the utopia of these uh, Rothschilds, these elites. You know, the deep state. This is their uh, mindset and their goals for the future here. All right. But that's not going to happen. Now, verse 10, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. All right. After those days, say of the Lord, which this is a prophecy. Also, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. So not this time the laws. And the covenants is going to be written in our mind, which the Hebrew word is lot, meaning we'll never go off. Get that out of my mouth. Uh, neither will we go off again, okay? Because we're going to be perfectly joined together with the Lord. It says, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, okay? Be a power. It says, and they shall be to me a people. So once again, Esau. We're going to be a people unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, this devil wants to hold us forever. All right. They hold themselves not accountable for the atrocities and the things and the evil things that they do to us. But instead, they won't want to. They don't want to let us go. OK, going back into the times when we were in old Egypt. All right. With Pharaoh. That's why it's written in Romans nine. All right. Um, the Lord will, um, you know, um, harden his heart. You know, like he did in the days of Pharaoh in Egypt. You know, right now the Lord is heartening Esau's heart to perform his will in the earth. And, es and the Lord's will is to show, to get, you know, basically to bring glory to his name. All right. And he's using these Edomites. And yeah, people are going to die. Millions. Okay. Two thirds of you Israelites are going to die. All right. But guess what? It's all for a righteous purpose. You can't save America. There's a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of uh, YouTubers, you know, truth, truth, tr I'll say truthers, you know, they're speaking truth, trying to save this place. You can't save it. It's gone. All right. This is deeper than what you guys think. All right. This is all biblical. This was all written from the very beginning. So anyway, it says, um, verse 11, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for all shall know them. 
So we're no longer going to prophesize to each other and act and uh, you know teach each other the scriptures, man. Because why? The scriptures are going to be written in our inward parts. Now this is a future prophecy. This is what we're we're getting into. This is what we're going to go into. I should say. All right. Yeah. And, and it says what we're getting into. <laughs> Because it's all about the truth. And the truth is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it's one thing to know all the, you know, the, the secrets of the Masons and how Esau move in the deep state. You know, that's one knowledge. But the true knowledge is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes true healing. You know, the answer to the problem relies with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It relies with you waking up back into your inheritance. And I'm talking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians. You know, the elect of you, okay? Those that are of the elect of these tribes, man. It says, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord, for all shall know me. From the least to the greatest, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquity will I remember no more. All right, so where do you eat a mice stand? You have no uh, no position in this covenant. You have nothing to do. What they say in the world, it's an A and B conversation, so see your way out. You, e, e, eat them. You don't have nothing to do with us, with this, man. You can't intervene in this. You can't, you know, write yourself in this covenant. All right? This is a covenant made between the Heavenly, the heavenly Father and His people, man. Not the Elamites, all right, Elam. Not the Moabites, not the Hamites, not the uh, uh, Ammonites, the Japhites, all right, the Israelites, okay? It says, let me read that again, verse 12, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. Who's unrighteousness? Israel, all right, starting with the elect. And their sins and their iniquities, because who can sin? Who pile sins up to, to, call, to cause iniquities? All right, Israel, all right? It says, in their iniquities will I remember no more. In that he say a new covenant he he have made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. All right. And that's why when Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, you know, come in the brightness of his coming, you know, that new covenant is going to be established automatically, man. You know, brother's going to be changed in the twink of an eye, as Paul was getting into. All right. Yahweh Shai is going to get down, man. He's going to fight for what's his, who belongs to him. And we, we, we say of the hopeful elect because we hope that we're of that number of the elect to make it on this side to get, the, the, you know, to get out of this hell, man. All right. Because who else is going to stand up for the evildoers for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? You know, most people is looking to save their life. Well, guess what? We're not looking to save our life in this world. We're looking to uh, save our life through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So that's why Yahweh Shai said, uh, He that saveth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's sake shall find it. Okay? Because trying to save this place, you know, you, you're going to die in this place, man. So it's best to lose your life in this place and to be saved through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the world to come. All right? You know, truth is reigning superior, man. You know, it's like that uh, that measuring rod. You measure one side and the other. You got righteousness on the right side. You got wickedness on the left side. And at a point, you know, of seasons, you had wickedness, you know, hanging high above, you know, righteousness. But now that 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 measuring rod is evened out. You know, the playing field is evened out. All right, and righteousness is soon, you know, going to trump over wickedness, man. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, I'm going to make this a quick hit, straight to the point, Lord willing. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.